Welcome to the Honeymoon Series, where Andrew and I celebrate a year being married, 10 years together, and a bucket list trip seeing Walt Disney World decked out for Christmas. But in this part of the series, it's all about Universal Studios' mega vlog. We head on over to check into the Hard Rock Hotel for two nights and explore what islands of adventure and Universal Parks have to offer. The fabulously festive holiday parade featuring Macy's was insane, and being back in the Wizarding World just continued to increase the magic. I'm also not going to deny that at the wonderful age of 31, meeting Bobby and Branch was a bucket list moment. Lots more to come, so I hope you'll stick around. Welcome to the Universal vlog. So we've just checked into the Hard Rock. It's half eight in the morning and our room is ready. I'm feeling a little bit ropey this morning. Again, I think just following on from what Andrew had a couple of days ago. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is nice. Wow. Well, damn shower curtain. <laughs> oh, I do like this. Oh, this is nice. I don't think I showed this last time, but they do mirrors in here of what height you are. What? what? Well, I think I'm the same height as Beyonce. Well, Let me take my yeah. Um, you're a bit taller. A bit taller than Beyonce? Yeah. Is, is, my, is it because I've got a poof today? No. Beyonce's here. Oh, I'm wearing platform shoes. Okay, you're as tall okay, as Beyonce. Okay, I'm as tall as Beyonce, cool. <laughs> no. Forward. Mm, yeah, James Taylor. So close to being as tall as Snoop Dogg. <laughs> yeah, I'm six two and a half, so. So this is the bed. This is the lounge. A nice little seating area here. We can put all of our charging devices. Telly. Connecting door, but that that's relevant for us. Seven dollar water. Oh, we could we could have brought our pods. There is a uh, a lounge open. The club lounge is open for breakfast until 10 a.m. It's half eight now. So we can go and have like a continental breakfast, coffee there, and it's all complimentary. And then from 5 p.m. they're doing um, cocktails, which are complimentary as well. But with how I'm feeling, that's probably not gonna be an option. Mm, we'll see. Um, so yeah, this is where I'll be getting ready, but also there's two sinks. There's one in the bathroom, but I think this is, this is mainly for getting ready. And when we stayed here last time, a, a really big thing I liked was they do these drumsticks here. And um, I hung my brighter bee veil on here and I've got a picture of that. And I really like that. And then the bathroom is nice. I just have, I wouldn't say it's a phobia, but I really don't like a shower curtain touching me. But the showers are like mega powerful. It's a bath, maybe I'll have a bath, who knows. Toilet's nice. It's just good. Right, turn that on. What have we got here? Oh, Andrew, we have robes. We have robes. Oh. I know this sounds really pathetic, but can I have a picture in one of the robes? We have got a big daddy suitcase because I've catered to all eventualities. However, I did not bring leggings, which was the only thing I should have brought with the weather that it's looking like today and tomorrow. Oh, Andrew. <laughs> you comfy? Really? Are you gonna have a full on? It's quite busy in here, and Ed Sheeran's playing. But I've just got a croissant with ham and cheese. But they've got bagels, have like hard boiled eggs, bread, yogurt, donuts, other patisseries. I mean, I don't, 
I mean, it's basic, but it's uh, bougie basic. It's perfect, really. Mm. And we've got coffees as well. And you can help yourself. There's loads of waters. Water, Coke, Sprite in the fridge. It's just what we'll stock up for. Mm. Just in general. Mm. So the breakfast was lovely. It's, um, it's definitely hit the spot. I'm feeling, yeah, a little bit better. But it is chilly. It's supposed to warm up in the afternoon. But this shirt just isn't doing it. I went to the um, not I went to the effort, but I thought that. What did it say? Thinking of burgers. They actually make it with cocoa, which is chocolate. I did not turn you on. So I'm not sure I'm feeling the poof. I don't think two wonky clips in my hair are, are giving rock and roll. Maybe they are. I'm doing a twist, twist and clip job. I've got my coffee, I need to drink my coffee, take my tablets, and we have got tickets, obviously. Um, but with staying at a resort like this, you get express passes, which means that you you don't skip the queue, but you get to go in like a quicker queue. And then I've done for Universal, similar to a dust pass at Disney, it's Universal's version of that. But I don't know whether I've been approved for it yet. So we've got to sort that out. So I might go and get myself a lanyard or something. Because you don't have magic bands here, it is just all cards and getting them all out is a bit faff. So I think I did. I did bring, yeah, so we've got this from last year, so we can put our tickets in there, we just probably need a lanyard. I think we're just eager to sort our tickets out and see whether I've got that disability pass, get into the park, have a little mooch, see what the weather's doing, if it's not cooperating, see what we can do ultimately come back here or go to the city walk. I want to do a full on walk round of the hard rock because although the rooms do need a little bit of updating like some of the back of the chairs and the back of the sofas are peeling it's not great for the price that you're paying but i feel like what you're paying for is to be close to universal and for us i think the convenience and what we were trying to do was never going to happen in one day it needs to be over two and the back and forth and it just kind of made sense to plant ourselves somewhere and it's as I said I keep saying it's a honeymoon um, so it was a preference would we do this again probably not um, a part of me is like has my itch been scratched this time and then the next time we come it's just gonna be Disney and a shorter trip don't know but yeah we have got a reservation at cowfish this evening for dinner and then tomorrow we've got a reservation at the hard rock cafe we went there last year and i really really enjoyed the fajitas i, I did say you're what you're, you're paying for location really paying for location. You are the paying amenities for, are nice you are paying for the name as well we were considering going staying at lowe's why didn't we stay at lowe's this is lowe's all of these are lowe's hotels oh. Portofino Bay, is yeah. that where we were going to stay? So we were going to stay there, um, but I, can't, I couldn't tell you why we chose not to. There was probably a reason. Yeah, I don't know what the reason um, was. Look, it's nice, it's clean, it's comfortable. Yeah. It's only the sofa that I've noticed that's got the real issue. Um, yeah, but like those types of things. Yeah, but ultimately, the there cushions. Are, these like the these best... have had, I think these ones have had a facelift. Excuse the background music because I'm on hold at the moment, but from our room we can see Hogwarts. It's a little bit of a stretch, but I can still see it and I'm going to take that. See? Wait, where is it? There it is! It's right there! And I went on that last year. Will I be going on that today? Probably not. <laughs> But Andrew did say Velocicoaster is a 10 minute wait at the moment. How long is Hagrid's? It was over an hour when I last looked, so it's probably two hours now. Just look how glorious the resort is. It's so, so pretty. And yes, with the sunshine, 
it would look even prettier, but I'm not complaining. Well, I was a little bit then, but. So there's the shop. We just come out there, the lifts. And this is the main lobby. And the Christmas tree. And a baby crying. Oh, this is a bit kitsch, I like it. So long story short, my mum loves these candles by a brand called Centair and they make hotels smell really nice, but they also like, it's really weird. They like, they're like diffusers and they pump smells through the vents and everything. And you can do them in like households. And I'm assuming it's like households that are like really big, like American houses and stuff. They do like hotels, restaurants and things. But in the US, um, they're based in Charlotte and we're obviously in Florida but they sell candles online and I'm trying so desperately hard to get my mum the candles of the scent that she liked um, there is a restaurant in Brighton that has scent air and she went and asked what the smell was because the restaurant smelled really nice and it was bam golden bamboo or something so I'm trying to you can't order them in the UK but they're in the US and I'm trying to order them online, but it keeps on blocking my card. So I'm trying to do everything on the phone, but I'm not having much luck and it's really annoying. Prevented our, our morning a little bit, but the weather's not great. Andrew's got a cracking headache. I'm trying not to be sick. So you could say that us turning up at Universal is going swell. They do not do a candle of the scent of the hotel. I think it's under lock and key, which I completely understand. But I'm loving some of the swimwear. very colourful. It's just lots and lots of t-shirts. I did want to get a towel, like a, a beach towel kind of thing. Oh yeah, we saw this last time. A cooking utensil. I mean, it's appropriate, isn't it? But it is all kind of like t-shirts and stuff. Um, I do like this one. Oh no, I like this one. This is cool. Halsey. Oh, they do actual band ones. Mud Rock Hotel. Oh, they feel really good. That's a bit of me. That is a bit of me. Eighty dollars. I think they've changed these since last time. As soon as you come in, there is music playing, so the vlog's not necessarily gonna, or YouTube's not gonna necessarily like that. But I thought I'd show you the front of the hotel because it was a bit of a rush getting in this morning. So, and Andrew's changing our rooms now, so I might as well give you a little loop. So you get dropped off here, that's the main entrance. And there is this absolutely stunning fountain. How mental is that? Blue skies or no blue skies? You can't not appreciate that. But yeah, sorry, just as an update. Andrew did complain about the room and he's now changing the room because he didn't want someone else to move our stuff. I'm just being a busybody and looking at stuff. Oh, it's a McLaren. Wow. We have just missed the boat, which is fine because the sun has come out and we are doing a walk around the resort that gets to the front entrance of the Universal Park, which is quite scenic, but we do enjoy the boat. We did enjoy the boat last year. <gasps> Where's my inhaler? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. As far as right last year. Yeah, well, maybe there's... No, it does seem like the same type of route. We are basically saying that this walk seems a lot shorter, but Andrew and I were a little bit heavier last year and very unfit. Not that I've gotten any fitter, but you definitely have. And we were huffing and puffing, but it was a lot warmer last year. That had nothing to do with it. <laughs> 
I just that's a prefix. The rims are lovely. They are dated. They're a twenty-year-old product. The I haven't said how much we've paid for one night, the, nor do I want to. The, there are like it's important to note that, uh, in my opinion, a hotel, like the Universal Board, is spinning. Why not? I don't think it's ever spun, but there's yes, smoke coming. No, it does spin. Always a spun. Why is it? Spinning? Why is it not spinning, um, Andrew Trolls? But I do. I am very much. Uh, I will rate a hotel on how the people are with you. Yeah, customer service. And they've been fantastic. Yeah, they've been great. The only other thing, and I don't want this to just continue to be a negative thing, is just like. It's clean, but I was waiting outside for Andrew. Lovely grounds and nice freshly cut grass. But then there was just like a red wine, empty red wine glass and a towel and like some litter just left on the bench. If that was Disney, you wouldn't see that. And I've seen that a couple of times, like the, the toilets were a little bit dirty. I keep on putting like the extra wide lens on so I do feel like it makes a little bit of a difference because all you're seeing is this at the moment well on some occasions but we've gone through security and we are outside Universal and it's so pretty just a whole like different experience oh it's shaping up to be really nice don't want to speak too soon but I'm just happy anyway so we are currently in the guest services queue to try and sort out IBCCES accessibility card. But we don't know whether it's been approved or not yet. It's not too bad, but it's just yeah something that we need to sort. 40 minutes in the queue, but it was well worth it because we met a lovely woman who helped us out. But I've got my attraction assistance pass which um, we've got express passes as well which is fine but uh, it's the Hagrid's ride that I struggle with in the queue I managed to do it last year um, but because my health has been a lot well it's been worse this year I just wanted that reassurance so it was worth going to the effort yes the queue was a little bit long but it all got sorted and we even got a little badge we're in the shop at the moment because I want to get a lanyard for this. When the park closes, we can go look at the other shops. So I don't really want to waste too much time in here. Andrew was like, you need to get a Universal Studios one. I was like, no, I need to get a Trolls one, you idiot. Do you want to grab a drink in Hogwarts? Or? I think, I think let's just get, let's get over to Diagonale. Oh yeah, Diagonale. Unless you want to uh, go this way down. Yeah, so cool. <laughs> Oh, it is sweet. She's holding someone, a little girl's hand. Did you want to go through Central Park? Right, we're now heading into Springfield. This looks so much better than last year. Did you enjoy the beer here last time? I did, but I haven't really, I have kind of stopped having as many frequent beers as I used to. Um, Are you going to have one? Probably not. Oh. It's $12 a beer, it's expensive. We have walked through Simpsons Land and we just need to go for a little bridge and then we're in like the Harry Potter section and I'm so excited. They just done it so well. So you definitely don't want to go on Rip Ride Rocket. Um, I'm okay. I mean, look, we'll go on it if you really want. But for someone who's terrified of every type of roller coaster, the fact you'll go on that and the Hulk. A part of me does wish that I maybe went a little bit extra for Harry Potter and had an outfit and a nice photo and was kind of like a part of the set, like I've seen some people do, but. It's just nice to see, isn't it? I think once you go in there, like through like the bricks and stuff, 
it's just amazing. You get a little bit speechless, really. The fact that it's not just like a set at, um, at Warner Brothers Studio. You're actually a part of it. Like, you can go in the shops and everything. I don't think we did all the shops last time, so that'll be nice. Oh, Grimmel Place! Got the bus. We're trying to get the shot of the dragon breathing breathing fire, but I don't think it's working. At least not at the moment. And someone said that Gringotts Bank is down. I'm loving all the garlands. Universal have actually nailed this, haven't they? Yeah. Andrew loves a garland. You love a garland, me. I'm gonna go in here. It's magical menagerie. Is Buckbeak. Oh, 25, that's not bad. I like a key ring. Oh my god. Stop. Adult large, they look small. How much are they? Come on, let's 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 have a little guess. Mm, Twenty six. Mm -hmm. Andrew, I'm just gonna be in this shop here. Oh, it's formal wear. Only in children's sizes. That sucks. It says extra large, but there's no way I'm getting in that. Dang it. Probably from the same style guy. Iconic. Iconic. Well, it's the same style guy. In and out, in and out. What did you want to do a loop round? See what's what. There's a show. There's a demonstration. I don't know what it is. I think we missed it. We are going to spend a little bit more time in Diagon Alley, but I think. Whilst um, Green Box is down, I think it probably yeah. makes sense for us to do a couple of the other rides in this park. Yeah, I think we're going to hop over to the other park because Green Gots is down. And. Maybe try and do Hagrid's or something like that. I desperately need a drink. We are back in the main bit of the park of Universal and we are heading to where? The front entrance. Love these dudes. Guess what? I nailed it. Oh! You should make your way back here. I don't mean to allow you actually, but I did get winked at. By who? Some old man. <laughs> so quiet. So lovely. It does feel like you're on a set. 
I just love how it's like, oh, this could be New York City, and then bam, Transformers. So I have a feeling this is the new section. You've got Minions Cafe, Something Pops. Done it very well. See, I thought there was a bit that went down there. Maybe that's the same too. Oh, I like the mobile pickup section. Bake my day. Yeah, that's a bit me. I'm definitely gonna have to go in there. Yeah, this is all new. Yeah, it was all kind of in dumb after it. Yeah, there was all like um I think this was like Shrek or something. It it has been done really well. So it's called Today Cafe and it's nice because there is a shaded area for us to eat outside. And you want an avocado thing. I really feel like we lucked out on the weather. I think this is typical Orlando weather, isn't it? Yeah, but I genuinely did think it was going to change as drastically. Like the, the other day it, it looked like that yeah. and said that the sun was going to come out in the afternoon. But when it did come out, it was fleeting. We will get our moody Harry Potter photo tomorrow. I can't film the stunt show but we're doing a Bourne stunt show and so many people have told us to do this because it's really really good. So um, I'll let you know how it goes. Can we go do Gringotts? Yeah let's go do Gringotts. Um, very 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 good show. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. Some of it I didn't know what was the screen and what was the actual people. How they move from scene to scenes was just mad. Very, very good. Can see why it's highly recommended. We have now come round past Mel's Diner and Transformers and we are beelining for Diagon Alley. Diagonelli. Diagonelli. And we're gonna do Gringotts because it's back up. Back through the hole. Pie and mash. Oh. Gross. Stew deals. If you haven't gathered already by now, we are people that like to bop about. I know people like to situate themselves in one place, do everything, then move on to the next one. But if rides aren't working or we're thirsty or we're hungry and we just want to kind of go somewhere and do that, that's what we do. I just kind of like going with the flow a little bit. As long as I, I get to do all the rides that I want to do, I'm not too fast. So we are going to the other park now to do Hogsmeade and we were going to get the train but the train's a bit busy and we did that last year so we might come do it tomorrow. Yeah it definitely has got busier. And I need to take my jump off again. The Blues Brothers. Islands of Adventure. Two tasks that I had was to obviously get my mum's candles and get my friend Emma a t-shirt because she couldn't get it online. Well she could but the tax on it and the shipping was horrendous and for one t-shirt like come on. So um, I offered to grab it for her but it's old stock and it was such a hard t-shirt to find but I found it and in her size and there was only a few left so I'm mega happy so here you go Emma, I've got your t-shirt and I will post it to you when I get home. I love people in good moods and dancing around the park. Oh yeah, that's the ride I really don't want to go on. Ah! Oh my god, it's horrendous. I really am going to try and push myself to do it though. Uh! Jesus Christ. 
did that one though. Last year. I mean, I enjoyed that ride. You do get a headache afterwards, but. I like the music. I forget how um, how wild like the Marvel section of this park is. Like loud music. Like little kids. I mean, even adults. You can really get submerged. I mean, I don't know many of the cartoons, but this is old. I don't think they'll ever redo it. Do you think? it's me not remembering it correctly but I just feel like this year is like so much more immersive even going through different sections of the park if you've got some smoke at Kong uh, I mean I say smoke I think it's just, what is it steam water vapor going through Toon Lagoon has been good I just I think I just remember it a bit differently yeah me too I was just saying like I feel like it's more immersive this year or they've I don't know, like you said, added bits or... Yeah. Harry Potter. What is this all about? Oh, the stone man, Andrew! We're in Hogsmeade. My sugars have dropped a little bit. So I'm having some grips and looking at some photos we've taken today. We're gonna try and see if we can get a disability pass, well, return time for Hagrid's. And whilst we're waiting for that ride, go and see the parade. But I'm just, I'm not feeling fantastic, so I'm just working to what I can do, but just walking around and just seeing everything it's really, really nice. Nice seeing um, the Hogwarts castle. And what we don't do today, we can do tomorrow, even though the weather isn't as nice. We've managed to get a return time for Hagrid's, and now we're gonna go on the Forbidden Journey, which is at good old Hogwarts. There is a 15 minute wait and an express line. It's probably nothing. But Andrew's in his element, taking some photos. <laughs> I do love Harry Potter. If it doesn't fit in your pocket, you gotta lock it! I forgot. Right? <laughs> I mean, it will make you feel sick. Where there is no we hobbled off that ride, and I looked at our photo at the end, and it's just me with my eyes closed. Bear in mind, it's, you it's, did not look it's, well. It screens with movement, like... Yeah, screens, screens with movement and animatronics. Like, there's a bit where it leans you right back. There's a bit that a spider comes at you. I mean, I don't want to give any away, anything away, but it's quite something. Golden Hour is the one. It's nice. It's the one to come to tomorrow morning, I think, though, because we get, I think with our little adventure, we do get to get in a bit earlier. Yeah. And because there's also like a really quite a heavy discount on annual pass holders whilst you're out here at the moment, if we were to upgrade it, you then get early admission, cheaper tickets going forward and stuff like that. So we either walk out of the park, back and round, or we get the, the train. The wait time is 25 minutes. Yeah, so should we do that? Yeah. Cool. Happy travels. I love that it's a, it's a full functioning train. So I had no idea it was different coming to Diagon Alley or well no King's Cross 
then going to Hogsmeade. That really just messed me up. I literally thought we were just going to see the same thing, but obviously that doesn't make sense. Andrew started making fun of my hair, so I've taken my clips out. I'm going to tell Bryony that. We are currently waiting for the Universal Parade featuring Macy's. It's featuring Macy's, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. After this, we're going to have to run to Hagrid's, then do Hagrid's, obviously, and then we've got our cowfish reservation. Two different types of music playing, but I see something coming. Universal feats Macy's. Really good. Really, really good. The floats were just massive. There was a delayed start, so our plan to get over to Islands of Adventure or Hogsmeade. Yeah, it's tight. Very tight. But I don't know whether they're gonna have the same type of rules as Disney, where like you can go on the ride like five minutes before the park closes, or literally a minute before the park closes, and they just will let you go on. I don't know. Food is the first of the five principal exceptions to Gump's law of elemental transfiguration. station that has a green light. Remember to keep your ticket with you at all times. Do you want to do it here? You will need Andrew, how did you find Hagrid's? Unbelievable. Honestly, the best way to do it is at, is at night. Like we had a clear sky. As soon as we came out on the ride, you got to see the moon and it was so magical. It was really, really good. And I've definitely got whiplash. 
but that's okay because I'm I'm in Hogsmeade. So quiet. Even um, cast members are out. They've got their phones out taking photos. Oh my god. It's so nice because you can get loads of photos and there's no one around. So we've got a dinosaur, a jeep, we've got the entryway for Jurassic Park. Uh, yep, yeah, there's a dino there. There's another one around the corner. Another prime example. Just a big dino. <laughs> That's insane. Ripshaw Falls looks amazing in the dark. It's so good. Fun fact, Andrew and I have never actually done City Walk before. We've eaten at Margaritaville and I think we did the Swartz Place, went there for a drink, but we've never actually gone through City Walk and seen what's there, gone in the big Universal shop, none of that. So this is a first. We have arrived. We are in Cowfish and I'm hungry. Very hungry. And Andrew's trying to dissect the menu for me because things are a bit spicy. Not all of it, but I'm really fussy. I think we're gathering by now. We're not very good when it comes to food. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. so Andrew's already eating his sushi. I've got a cocktail. So I've got tuna nigiri. Andrew's munching through a salmon nigiri. And then we got a non-spicy California roll. Is that right? Yeah. Crunch roll or something. Oh my god. Oh, is it got crab in it? Crab stick. Oh. That ain't crab, sweetie. Oh. Good. Burgers now arrived. I've got a beef burger with... What is it? I don't remember. Something rib. Short rib. Short rib. And it's got a little sushi on top. What did you get? A something royale. Quarter pounder with pork belly. Oh my gosh. I feel like we forgot to rate things. We said we were going to rate everything out of five. And we keep forgetting. Very good. Morning. I'm sorry that I may look mildly terrifying, but we've had a bit of a night of it. We've had to change rooms again. Well, we did at what, 11, quarter past 11 last night? Yeah. Nothing necessarily wrong with the room. Absolutely fine, really, really lovely. Just um, didn't have a couch that was falling apart. We had two little nice chairs, two separate beds, which sucked a little bit, but it's fine. It was our neighbors and they were yelling and screaming, but they were playing like Nintendo or something. Like you could hear the Nintendo and then yelling and screaming. We called up and kind of complained, but found out we weren't the only ones complaining. But it made me feel a little bit better because I I don't like complaining, but when you're spending money and it's that late at night, it's kind of like, come on, I've been at a park all day. Like, have your TV really loud and then turn it off and go to bed. But like the yelling and the screaming and the shouting, it was like, oh, you're not even being considerate. Someone came up, obviously we spoke to reception and they were like, yeah, don't worry, we'll sort it. We heard someone knock on their door and speak to them. And then they stopped playing their, their Nintendo and then they started playing a board game. The fact that I know this information is purely just because of how loud they were. Um, called up again and we're like, no, it's now, you know, half 11 or gone half 11 and we're like they are not calming down and can you just please just we don't want to be their neighbors anymore they had even more complaints and from people across the way so after we left they ended up getting kicked down to the because we were on the top floor to the bottom floor with a view of the car park even though they've paid club level when they were they were late check-ins which makes me think they just booked here at a whim maybe they're a bit you know i don't know you can assume a lot of things and I don't like doing that, but just a little bit unfortunate. And we've been changed to another room. 
with no connecting door. I had an absolutely beautiful night's sleep, very comfortable. I just wasn't in the same bed as Andrew, which was quite sad, but also quite nice. <laughs> I could uh, full on starfish. So any who's, good morning. It's another day. We had, what, well, cowfish was, that was a good, that was a good pick last night. I had a sushi on top of my burger, I mean. That was wild. Come on. Come on. It looks a bit overcast. There is blue skies poking out a wee bit. From changing our rooms, we don't have the pool view anymore, but I'm not gonna be standing outside like looking out the window. We've just got the front of the resort, which is equally as pretty. It is half past eight. We are gonna go down for a nice breakfast. Then I'm gonna go up to the club lounge. Yeah, I'm gonna get some pastries and put them in a sandwich bag and take them to the park. Because yesterday, I didn't really eat much. I mean, I wasn't feeling fantastic. I'm feeling a bit better this morning, but I felt like I maybe needed to eat a bit more food yesterday. Keep my sugars up to prevent me from feeling. I've nicked Andrew's jumper. But I don't think I'm gonna need it today. How did you sleep? Good, I'm hungry though now. Okay. in the restaurant we have coffee yes. and apple juice andrew has wasted no time in going to the buffet what have you got french toast french toast breakfast potatoes bacon sausage and then i'm gonna go up and eat an omelette in a minute how many times did you and phil go back last time oh, three the four times so the, the plates that you had were like stacking on the side because there's multiple times you go back up yeah, that was funny. Alright, what do I fancy? There's bacon, sausage, breakfast potatoes, and then there's sweet stuff on the salad. Mine doesn't look as impressive as yours. But you find these as much better cakes. Oh, I know. Can I ask this question? Black bar in Hagrid's. Yeah. Like, you basically go upside down. You might as well. You, you're going sideways to the point of where you could fall out. Easier than going upside down. It's not, it's not the falling out, it's the, the getting air. How are we doing? Everything good? Really yeah, good. Yeah, amazing. Thank you. Need some waters? Oh, yeah, water, but nothing, thank you. It's alright to get a double espresso as well. Double espresso. Thank you so much. I'm wearing legging shorts today. I wish I actually brought my leggings. I don't know why I didn't. It's looking okay outside, isn't it? Like, like it's going to rain. No, I think it's... But think it's it is cold. just... It is cold. It is very cold. But we are ready to leave the room. Our third room. And... It's the day. I'm gonna try and go on Velocicoaster. Mm. I know that I don't have to go on it. If I get there and I go, do you know what? Just not for me. But then a part of me is like, just, just get through the queue, just get on it, push yourself in and just go. Once you're on, you can't get off. And then I've done it. The only thing is, is that it's a long, it's quite a long ride. But anyway, I really, really like my gut is telling me, well, my gut's been telling me a lot this morning, but that I should go in it and I will regret it if I don't go in it. And I want, <coughs> just thinking about it, it's making me want to be a bit sick. I kind of want to do it and get it out of the way. Because if I go in it and I like it, I'm going to want to go in it again. Because this is the running theme with me, is that I work myself up, I spiral, we know this. I had my little panic attack before Tron, where I genuinely thought I was going to pass out, went on it. And it was like my favourite ride and we went back on it twice. So... It could be one of those situations, but the only thing I am gonna try and do if I do go on it is really cinch myself in. Because the feeling that I don't like and I don't appreciate, and it's kind of like lifts, is that kind of like going over a bridge feeling, that kind of like, that air time. I really, really don't like that. And it makes me feel a bit unsettled and a bit wobbly. But the thing is, is that when you're on the ride, it'll just, you know, it'll happen and it'll just, yeah, it might be traumatic, but I, 
I kind of want to put myself through it. Can we go on the boat, please? Because I think this is going to be our only opportunity to do it. We're off like a herd of turtles marching through peanut butter. Yeah, we're not very fast, are we? No. <laughs> Head to the Margaritaville airplane, pay our respects to Jimmy, cross the bridge to the lighthouse in Garrett Island. The city watches everything in the middle going until midnight. Do you know why I like parks being open till 7? I can stay awake until 7. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, guys. We're all good. We're all right. He was great. He was great. Yes. Thanks, Rob. My pleasure, guys. Have a great night. Ideally, I'd like to find something that I love, but at this point, if it's just joggers for home, I'll be happy with that. Lost coaster? No, no. I'd rather have joggers if I'm honest, because I know I know that when I go home, I wear my sweaty Betty stuff, and that material looks a bit thin. So no joy in there. There is something that I liked, but they didn't have my size. Well, I thought it said. Yeah, it's Billabong. Andrew, they've got fleeces. They do do leggings, but I'm just a sweaty Betty whore. Well, they've got quite a lot, actually. Not that I'm a felt kind of gal. I found some joggers in Billabong, and uh, on this trip, I wanted to get like a loungewear type of set. So I've got the bottoms that match this something on the back but it's like it's like a hoodie and it's cropped and it as I said it's got matching joggers which is nice because um, it is going to get cold later and I'm annoyed I didn't bring anything but it just means that I don't have to look for something at Disney Springs now and Bill Billabong's my vibe anyway not that I'm saying that this isn't my first choice because I didn't even know there was a Billabong shop there the woman, Maddie, was amazing. And it's just so comfy and it's not like mega thick, it's quite thin. So I've given Andrew his jumper back. I have my own, which means I now have a jumper for the Disney parks to go with my shorts, because it's, it's supposed to perk up, but. So that's really good. There's only a few bits that we want to try and do today and we even consider, we're either considering coming in the parks early tomorrow to do Harry Potter again. Um, but we just, I want to do Zeus Landing because it's so Christmassy, Spider Man, Velocicoaster, and we want to do Hagrid's ride again, but at, in the daytime. And we're just going to the loo and then we're going to head to the park. Andrew's really angry. Jimmy can't save me, I don't really know what else. Andrew really wants a cat, but his head's too big. Andrew, I found your hat. <laughs> Does it look good? <laughs> Perfect! You found your hat! I did say it was going to be very cold on this particular day. Yeah, but like it's Florida, you know? What's happened to me? So it changes all the time, but the fact that people are wearing gloves. Right, we are going into Islands of Adventure first. We did that ride, and um, we did it yesterday, and we've done it today. And that's me done now, if it does make me feel sick. We've been playing a little game where whenever they do their little show, we try and work out whether they're actually English or not. I don't think any of them are English. What do you think? The woman yesterday definitely wasn't. Actually, she might have been English, but it was almost like someone who's English that's trying to be extra English. Which I don't like, but it's the whole vibe of Hogsmeade, isn't it? And it's Harry Potter in general. Potter. We did just do a Hagrid's motorbike adventure ride. Last night we were the back row. It's longer than that magical creature, like it's, it's about to fall. So last night on the Hagrid's ride, we were the back and then we've just done it now and we were the front. So no spoilers or anything, but like kind of the bit where you go up 
and then backwards again. We were front row and that was terrifying. And I said to Andrew when we were coming back down, I was like, is that what Velocicoaster's like? And he was like, yeah, just upside down. So, <laughs> and he wants to do it again in the dark. So the thing is, is that if I could go on this ride where you're dangling your legs and going round, that ride next to Velocicoaster, I would do that. But you have to have a child. I don't know, it's the lifting out of the seat. I, I, don't, I really don't like that feeling. It's not even feeling sick, it's just that, that lift. I don't like it. And even when I tried the seat on, the woman was like, yeah, 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 it's a lot of air time. I went, no, not for me. That is mental. These little bits I don't mind, the twisting and the turning, but it's the... I think the twisting and turning is worse. Seriously? I think that is, that is gross. Yeah, you can kind of hear where we are, right? We off the cuff went on the Hulk ride, and... Negative. I don't like how I feel. Uh, yeah, I don't like how I feel afterwards. But like this this time round compared to last year. First of all, that wasn't working last year. The water didn't go off last last year. Yeah, no, no, no. I get that, but it's still like the experience. I whacked my head on the thing, even though I was keeping my head back. Those are like the two negatives I didn't like, and how I'm feeling now. But the thrill of going upside down, doing loops and stuff like that, I enjoyed. Andrew said he would rather go on Velocicoaster eight more times than ever consider going on that. I mean, period, I don't think you'll ever go back on that ride after being on Velocicoaster. So further research, the day isn't over yet. It's just like the thing is, I think what makes Velocicoaster so good is it's so new and smooth. Smooth, yeah. When you are upside down and you do feel like you have this like, hanging sensation, that you have, like, like you're literally about to, like, you're, just, you're nothing. Yeah. With that yeah, sensation. How long does that last for? At the, in the moment, if you don't like it, probably... Forever. Like, forever, but the reality is the ride goes over so fast. Andrew's going to do it again in the dark. Yeah, I, I, I might do the queue and just see how I am. I think you, I think you, a part of me is just like, just get on the got, ride. I think even if you got right to the front, back to the you can say it again. Yeah, we're at City Walk at Breadbox. It is almost four o'clock. So, we eat. What, what's our dinner reservation? Eight? Yeah. Okay, it's not too bad. So, we're going to grab a sandwich. I only really want half a sandwich, but. I can't really do that. I've got my sandwich. Andrew and I got the same thing. I just had no avocado or bacon in mine. So it's just a, it is a turkey, tomato and cheese sandwich. And I'm probably only gonna be, be able to eat half. Mm. I thought sandwich was all right. I don't think it was good as Wilderness Lodge. No. That was a very good turkey to sandwich. I think. Um, but that was part. It was kind of toasted, but not really toasted. Yeah, but it hit the spot. It did it. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to Billabong to pick up my joggers. I'm going to put them on. And Andrew's going to try and find something. It is just really cold. Yeah, it feels like. But it would just at least take the other one. Yeah. But you want something for back at home. That's Yeah. Why don't you wear them underneath your shorts? So comfy. Probably didn't need to roll them up, but yeah, a lot better. Now that I'm all suited and booted and really warm and Andrew's really cold and couldn't find anything, we are in Foodoo Donuts to see whether maybe a bit of sugar might help. Orange sugar. I mean, there is choice. Yeah, I'm not having anything. I feel a bit I feel a little bit ropey since the Hulk and I've just eaten something and looking at the whole menu I feel like 
it's all just a bit too sickly for me. So I'm going to pass on this occasion, but I won't be passing at Gideon's. Gideon's is a must. How many did you order? 24. So Andrew smashed two donuts in a row. How are you feeling, Andrew? Yeah, pretty good. Lies. <laughs> Oh yeah, update. I'm not sure whether I've updated. We're staying at the Hard Rock again tonight. Because we had made so many complaints, not necessarily wanted to, it's just obviously how our trip has turned out. We ended up getting money off our bill or what we've paid. So that's gone towards staying another night. So we've, we've hardly paid anything for another night. And we're doing that purely just out of comfort to be able to do stuff like this although this wouldn't have changed much other than us being able to go back to the room, which is what we're gonna do. But just coming back to the hotel in general, obviously we could have done that, but we've got a reservation at eight tonight at the Hard Rock Cafe. And just being able to just take our time or like have a couple of drinks and come back here and stay here rather than like making sure everything's packed and we get a lift and head back to pop, we decided just as I said, out of convenience. Let's just stay another night. There are things that we want to do in like the Disney area tomorrow, but at the same time, where we're located, we want to do Mall of Millennia and some of the outlets, but we might do that another day, might we? Yeah. Or did you want to do it tomorrow? We're still figuring out our plans tomorrow. I think, because it's nice weather, I think it would probably be best that we get the stuff we to get done here and then like we'll take an hour at the hotel now yeah and then we're going to go back to the park go on Hagrid's ride again you want to see Diagon Alley um, Diagon Alley Diagon Alley I would, I would like to see um, is it Dr Zeus Landing or Zeus at Landing yeah. the Dr Zeus area and I think at night it could be quite good, but also I'm happy to just wake up handy and see it in the morning. I'm not fussed by any of the rides, I just like the extent that they've gone to to make that area look like it is. But yeah, the weather is just, it is so cold. It's 13 degrees. Andrew's freaking freezing in shorts. I've obviously got my, my joggers. So we're gonna go back and have a coffee and just be in the warm and head back for some rides and dinner. Oh, it smells so good. That's what I say. So we're ready to go back to the park, but you look absolutely shattered. Yeah. Sat down, big mistake. Yeah. Chilly boy. It's so cold. Yeah, it's very, very it's cold. Like, it's saying 13 degrees, but it feels colder than that. I'm supposed to be going to the Hard Rock Cafe. I don't feel like this is socially acceptable. What in the whose mill is this? Are we actually going to go through here? Well, or do you go to the right? You go to the left. You go to the left. Oh, it looks real pretty. Oh, look. Can I just take a picture? Thank you. Whoa! Oh, I hope they do something with this bit. They need to do something with it. They need to do something with it, don't they? Even last time, I never came down here. Are you saying it's a whole part of the park that you haven't even done? No. But technically, there's no rides down here. There's projections on the castle. Oh my god, it looks unbelievable in the world. Did you want to go do it? Yeah, it's alright. Yeah. There were freaking fireworks. Oh, well, you know what this means, Grace. We've got to come back. I mean, they always do that, to be fair. I didn't know that. It said on the app, it said from, I think it said from six till, no. Oh, it must have been they're from festive, dark they're until. Festive, they're festive over, maybe. Yeah, they do, so, they do like projections on the castle from like, Six till seven or something, but I didn't know there was a whole like. Oh, freaking hell! No, I can't do that. He's given me all his stuff. Give me a glass. I'll never see you again. PDA. Still got tomorrow morning if I want to do it, but I don't think I will. Like, I'm sorry. If 
I haven't said already, Andrew's going on Velocicoaster again in the dark. And I, I keep on sitting there the same spot to see if I can see him come down this drop. But it just goes so quick. And I've just seen that it twists as it goes up and then comes down. How was it? Very good. Was it scarier? In the dark? Yeah. Uh, yeah, a little bit, because it is proper pitch black at some Yeah. When you're over the water, it's pitch black. Yeah. So. Were you third row back? Yeah. I think I saw you. I shouted Grace as I was going Oh. Past. But I probably came across as... <laughs> but like, everything that you've said to me, it's still the same. Do you feel like you're falling? Like, like, and I, I actually worked out, it's... Did you so, try any new techniques yeah, that yeah, I could... Yeah, right, like, okay. But my feet, you basically have a bit in front of you. You have the floor and then like a little ridge where yeah. your feet go. Yeah. So I tried to push myself against that. Yeah. With your long legs. No, you, anybody, like, anybody above five foot would okay. be able to do that. Okay. And kind of like push myself back to my back was the bit of supporting. Yeah. No. No. Um, <laughs> and what it is... Bless you, thanks. ...is the, the leg... Where your legs sit, that's the bit what... It's not around your backside, it's around your legs. All right. So, because they've got bits carved out... Yeah. ...for to accommodate all types of... Person. Bodies, yeah. Bodies. Bodies. Um, but you have... If you have a bit more wiggle room, then you're going to feel more movement if you have and that's where I really wanted to, to like push the bar down yeah. but, but that's not gonna set at a point oh I see Hagrid's for the last time today and it was good wasn't it? Fantastic ride. Our, um, our aim was to do the whole ride with our hands up but you physically can't do it. Not 100%. I think you, I think you physically can but we're just... Uh, no where it's like it's, it's whipping you around a corner or something yeah. like that. You're, you're, I feel like the pressure like your arms get pushed down. It's like I tried to do the peace sign in one of our photos. Oh, I think, I think it, it was yesterday. Well. No, you did it there. Did, right. I, did I do it well? Yeah. Cool. We have arrived. I think everyone's leaving at this point. And it is rather hectic. You're going to put this side in that hand. And yes, that's, we're going to tag team this. That's perfect. I'll hold that. All right, guys. Yeah. That's really perfect. That's Perfect. Great. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> That's you, that. You're beautiful. I love your hair. Oh, thank you. It's not real. It's not real. No. It's real. Your hair is real. Oh, no. My hair's real. The colour isn't. Thank you. you I oh, like, is your wavy natural? It is. Of course it is. Of course it is. Thank <laughs> you. We have bruschetta. It was pretty good. It looks like I'm in a church. Thank God we didn't say we're on our honeymoon. I did. No, you didn't. Sex, where am I alive? They've stepped up their food here. Yeah, I think so. We'll wait for the fajitas. Just don't feel me shoving this in my mouth. Absolutely horrendous, and Andrew wants to buy it. I'm not even going to show you a proper close up of it in focus because it is that horrendous. Uh, the combo with the extra chicken. Thank you so much. Oh, wow, thank you. Welcome back. Thank you. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, I just want to get this out. Oh, 
Fuck him. The Guardian let me out. The chair is in the way. Move. Move. And that's why. We're very, very full. But dinner was really, really good. <laughs> Don't know what to do with myself. Yeah, food was really, really good. Service was really, really good. There were two traveling schools of like, how many kids do you think were there? It's the glo It was like a global... It's called the Global Games, but it's literally just for the schools of, in America. Yeah, but there must have been like 200 kids. More. Each. And you, you exaggerate, and I'm saying more. So our plan for tomorrow is to go back to Universal just for the morning come back here for lunchtime and then head back to pop and then i think we're gonna have a bit of a rest day kind of like figured out what we filmed what we've taken photos of what rest of the things that we want to see <laughs> um we have booked magic kingdom for our park tomorrow so we might get really really organized so by early evening we get over to the park and do a couple of rides maybe but that is a bit ambitious I think it's ambitious, but, but I think, I think it's it'd be doable. Nice, I think it'd be nice to do, but let's see. Hope that tomorrow will bring us more than twelve degrees. Good morning. We've done one full day. Yesterday was the second full day, and then we've got half of a day today. It is almost well. It's twenty to eleven. All the plans we had yesterday didn't really work out. I didn't have a very good night's sleep. I mean, the bed was comfortable. And it was lovely, no complaints there. But I just like, my, my tummy was just, just felt really sore. I think I just overate last night and um, didn't know when to stop, but that happens. So I just felt very uncomfortable all last night. So I was a bit slow this morning. Andrew's not feeling particularly well. Uh, this happened last year, but I'm not sure you feel as ill as you did last year. And last year was, I had a sinus infection. Sinus this infection. Year it sounds like a chest infection. It's a chest infection. There's a lot more something in your chest but a lot of people are coughing and spluttering and yeah lots of people are coughing kids adults even someone walking past our table last night was just like technically coughed on us we're like cheers for that we are en route to the parks andrew's opted for walking today i'm not taking the boat but um it is very very sunny today i am close to taking my jumper off so we've chosen Universal to come in first, but I want to try and show you these um, ways of getting into the park now. This didn't happen last year. These little screens here, they take your photo and basically that's you getting into the park. They obviously scan your ticket and you have your photo taken. Andrew doesn't like the Scooby-Doo gang. We are potentially going to become annual pass holders, which is very weird to say, considering, I don't know, we haven't done a lot of rides this, um, this trip, but just being here and seeing everything and doing lots of things, I just, I love it. And by the time you want to come back, it might, well, it's worked out making a bit more sense becoming the tickets that we've bought turning them into annual pass holders and then coming again it works out being cheaper and then we can start using annual pass discount even though we've been here for two days <laughs> very confusing but i've left it up to andrew so i'm sure he can uh, explain it a bit better i do not know what my hair's doing but it's already matter also what's on the agenda is me in Poppy from Trolls. I am obsessed with Trolls. For my birthday I wanted to go and watch the new uh, Trolls film. But I'm going to be honest, no one wants to watch it with me. Andrew said he would, but we just ended up doing something a bit different. Still got to see that. I saw a little meet and greet section, but they've closed the line and they're going to be back at 12.45. So we've got an hour and 20 minutes to wait, but we're just going to do our other things and then like go back that way. Ooh, I'm going to go in the shop, Andrew. We didn't go in here last time. It's free. Puzzles. Puzzles. You can go up here. Oh, I think 
this goes into another shop. Ooh. So I think we are going down. Oh, it's Borg Borgen and Burks. Oh, it's Nocturne Alley. Did we not see this last year? What the hell? Wow. I just had no idea this was here. Mentors. So we had a little wander around Diagon Alley. We didn't even know Nocturne Alley was there. So that was, well, very, very interesting. Very dark, obviously. Um, not too much there, but it was enough to be like, this is different and you appreciate it. And the fact that there was a whole merch section that I haven't seen in any other shops. So that was interesting. So if you didn't know that, you now know. We didn't know that from last year. But it is really tucked away opposite the loos where people are using their interactive ones with the umbrella that um, squirts water out. We'll try and come back before we leave. Do I yeah. show that one properly? Well, this has just made my day. Wildlife in Florida is just fantastic. You're about to see it. 31 year old when we get really excited. Oh, I'm on my honeymoon! Thanks! But always. I was in my element meeting Poppy and Branch. Absolutely love trolls. Uh, but now, with a bit of JLo in the background, we're going to go to Starbucks and pick up a mug. Because apparently they are in stock. So, there's an Orlando one. There's a Florida one, but we want that one, don't we? I really like that. Let's have a look. single bit of Harry Potter on it. If you don't like it, we don't have to get it. I like it. Okay, cool. There's a Christmas shop. I like this one. What one do you like? I do like the one in the park, but we're not limited to just getting one. No, never limited. That's amazing, like how that would hang on the tree. Mm. Did you want to get a few? Yeah. Oh my god, they're all amazing. Whoa, they're expensive. But they're really nice. So we did go ahead and upgrade our park tickets to be annual pass holders. Well done for doing all that research. I know it's keeping you up at night. It's definitely didn't keep me up at night. <laughs> I did spend two, three days. Speaking to people. Getting opinions. Different spots and also at guest just relations. numbers because look, a lot of people say that this holiday is, you know, that you know, it's too expensive. Look, it's an incredibly expensive holiday, but there are ways of making it cheaper and doing things different, in different ways. Yeah. You know, remove as much liability. For your next journey, next journey, next visit. I yeah. just read journey and said journey. Journey. So, but ever since getting the um, the annual pass, we get discount with it. So we we bought the mug in Starbucks and how much? Like realistically, how much money are you saving? Is it 10, 10 percent? 10, 15 percent. Between ten and fifteen percent. That adds up, obviously. Yeah. If you then want to then buy merchandise or coffees and drinks. Yeah. You know, a 575 drink turns that into a 475 drink. So, yeah. no, it's not huge savings, but they're savings. But it's something, yeah. We left Universal whilst we were doing our tangent, and we are now heading into Islands of Adventure because I'm absolutely desperate 
to see Zeus Landing. I just, just Dr. Zeus in general. I was read those books when I was younger and I just find it very nostalgic. We completely bypassed Zeus Landing. It was so, so busy. I think from the weather yesterday to the weather today, people are opting to maybe come here and do the parks. It's more enjoyable when it's sunnier. So when I wanted to eat at the spot in Zeus Landing, there was just a massive queue, it wasn't budging. So we came all the way to Jurassic, had a very average pizza, but we're, we're pushing on. But at this point, I feel like we're going to get our last Christmas decoration from Hogsmeade and then head back to the hotel and then head back to Pop and then we might do a Disney a Disney park this evening. So the one Andrew likes is in Honey Jukes. Those are cute. Well, no, not that cool. I'm very picky. Mind you, they've probably all been bashed at one point. If I was feeling a bit more perky, I would be getting a sweet treat as well. I'm not sure which one. The witch hat cupcake. Mm, it does look good. I would like to spend a bit more time in here, but I think we'll end up probably coming back. I love it. It's just, just like the books, and obviously some of the films. And just like that, we are back at the resort. So despite not feeling 100% today, I've really enjoyed the bits that we've done. The fact I've done, I did a meet and greet with um, the drolls was good. And Andrew was like, you know what, just own it. And that's what I'm trying to do, but I just as we were coming out of Islands of Adventure, I saw Molly from the Mammoth Club, and um, yeah, I may have made her jump, but I got a picture with her, and she's someone that I heavily watch on YouTube as well, all Disney-related content that they provide. We are back at Pop, if this doesn't say that, that already. I just basically had a little sleep, a little bit of a lay down, recalibrated a little bit, I apologise for the state of me. And we've just been going through photos, vlog footage, what we've been doing, what we're happy with, what we want to go and do the last bit of this holiday. And it is now half six. We had the option of going to Disney Springs and eating there, which would have been a really good idea. I am just completely done. I think I am just tuckered out from Universal Parks. I didn't catch that. Could you try again? No. I had a really, really amazing time, but I think it's just it's just quite a lot. So decided this evening, evening that we're just going to go over and eat at pot. Not our first choice, but I think it's just for what we want to do tomorrow and the following days. And tomorrow will end up being an early start. And I think I just want to get a bit of an early night, get up handy tomorrow get to the park. We're doing a lot of festive things tomorrow. Then we're going to do the cookie stroll. We're going to go to the broad walk and see the Christmas tree there, see what festivities they're doing there. But ultimately... It's our five day countdown tomorrow. It's our five day countdown tomorrow. Did Yeah, Moana yeah. Journey of Water. Just seeing that with a bit of sunshine behind will be amazing because every time we've gone to Epcot it's been overcast or raining. So the fact that the weather's made a turn today and going forward is going to be... It looks good. Looks good, yeah. I think it'll be enjoyable to see Epcot with some, with some decent weather. Probably do Guardians again. I want to see all the pavilions and uh, the Christmas stories, all their different Santas, legends that they have around Christmas. Because again, that is all outside. When it was raining, it wasn't something that we wanted to do. 
that'll be good. And then we're finally going to look at Mexico. We didn't realise that to go in, it looks like Chichen Itza. You go in there and it's like the whole of Mexico. I thought it was just the ride of Mexico, which is like the three caballeros. I thought there was just that water ride. No, it's like a whole thing in there. So we missed that last year. So we want to dock our heads in there and have a jolly good look. We've got a big old day tomorrow. So basically, big day tomorrow. Exciting things to follow. So we are keeping it all at pop this evening. But anyway, on that note, I hope you enjoyed all of our universe, universal islands of adventure, city walk, hard rock hotel shenanigans. Thoroughly enjoyed my time. We are now annual pass holders which I never thought I would say leaving this trip. And I hope you'll stick around for the rest of our trip. So we shall see you bright and early tomorrow for a very, very festive day. So lots of love and I'll see you very soon. Bye.